All right, so today was a hurry up out of bed kind of morning and I had my shake yeah, with I banana eat. and a pumpkin spice oh, beverage wow. from and Trader Joe's. And now it's 11 o'clock. I don't, I am not feeling well. I got a sinus infection. So I'm gonna skip my workout today even though it kills me. And I'm gonna have brunch for lunch because I just had a shake and I love breakfast food. But I need to get a veggie in. So what I'm gonna do is a two bell pepper omelet. I've got my pan heating up with just a little spray of olive oil and I'm gonna dice up these two bell peppers. Try to show you guys, see, you'll just see my shirt. Um, try to show you guys, cause I know, you know, I'm pretty proficient in the kitchen, but a lot of people are learning. This is how I diced up a bell pepper. And I kinda want it diced today. You could do just strips for an omelet, but I'm gonna go with dice today. So, if you turn it upside down, it's easier to get your knife through everything. It's also important to have a sharp knife. I do not. I need to get my knife sharpened. I need a knife sharpener. Anybody listening? Christmas gift ideas? I need a knife sharpener. It's not sexy. Sometimes it's just what a girl needs, you know? She's making a And then, so you slice them up and then you'll just pull them together like this. Curl your fingers in so you don't cut them and then dice. Yeah. And then you just move back as you dice. So I'm gonna dice up and a red and go a red and a yellow bell pepper. I'm also gonna just what I'll do is put my I have my pan really close to my my cutting board close to my pan and I'll just dump as I dice. And I didn't turn the pan on like I thought I had. There you go, cooking absent-mindedly or cooking while sick. Mistakes can happen. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and dice up these peppers. I've got my two bell peppers dropped up. See how pretty they are? They're in the pan. I did turn the heat on and I'm just gonna let them soften up. While that's going on, I'm gonna crack my two whole eggs and whisk them up with a fork. So while my veggies cook, I'm gonna crack my two eggs. Two eggs are a complete serving of protein if you do the whole eggs. If you do egg whites, you could do like eight egg whites or 16, just kind of depending on how big they are and what you follow. Um, I like to keep liquid egg whites on hand. Y'all, eggs, <laughs> if you don't have time to defrost something, if you need a really quick meal because you're starving and you're about to kill somebody, kind of like I am right now. Um, yes, there's music practice going on behind me. Eggs are a perfect, complete protein. I love eggs. I try to buy their, like, in the yolks, the yolks, they might have a little cholesterol in them, but they're full of so much good stuff for you. Omega-3s, all those things that help our brains to function and our bodies to function well. You gotta have a little bit of everything in your diet, <laughs> except gluten and dairy for me. Um, cow dairy. I can do goat cheese and stuff like that, so I'll work that in sometimes. But you could add cheese to this omelet. You can do omelets. See, I'm just... just giving them a good whisk. I don't want to spill them, but I want you to see. Just giving them a good whisk. And let's see. I could add an onion to this. I could add, I could do a variety of combinations. You could do spinach. You could do sauteed Brussels sprouts and a little bit of bacon and make um, an omelet with that. It's really endless. It's really however you want to make the omelet. I'm just tired right now, so I'm keeping it to bell peppers. It's really just about getting my nutritional requirements in more than it tasting really good. Um, you can make it spicy. Um, you could do garlic or red pepper flakes. I think today I'm just going to stick to a little pink Himalayan sea salt and black pepper because y'all, I'm just tired. Veg mix is just right. An onion in this would be really good. Um, like I said, it's just about the purpose that the meal is serving. I'm not really worried too much about flavor right now. But um, you could do, um, you can saute mushrooms and onions, 
up and put them in eggs. That's really good too. Um, and you can add cheese to this if you can tolerate it. Um, you can do goat cheese, whatever you like, really. Now, oh, why is not? I'm going to spray a little. It is slipping out of my hand. This booger, a little extra olive oil spray. This is um, one that you put the olive oil spray in it so you, you don't have propellants in it. We want to keep our food as clean as possible. We want to keep our homes as chemical free as possible. Um, just because none of that's really good for us. Um, our bodies weren't made to process that junk. Some of us process it better than others. My body doesn't process it well. So it's really important that I keep as much not chemicals. That drives me crazy. Water is a chemical. Oxygen is a chemical. Toxin. All right, so I'm just going to pour in my eggs. Y'all hear that saxophone lesson going on in the background? Husband's working with my son on his articulation and on swinging his eight note, eighth notes. So I'm just swirling the eggs down in the pan so they spread out evenly and cook. So I'm just going to let this cook. The other way to do an omelet is to saute your veggies up, take them out of the pan, put them on a plate, cook your egg, and then put the veggies in the middle. So it's kind of however you want to do it. This would be great with, you could do onion with this, and garlic, and pepper jack cheese if you wanted. Um, that would be really good. Really, the possibilities are endless with eggs. It's really just how far your imagination takes you and what flavor combinations you like. I'm gonna serve this with a gluten-free pumpkin spice bagel from Trader Joe's with a little bit of almond butter on it. And that is going to be my lunch brunch for the day. Y'all, I think breakfast is good at any meal. If you think breakfast is good any time of the day, drop a comment below and let me know what your favorite breakfast is to cook any time of the day.